Good evening. This is not a chicken. This is a piece of art. Chickens are the most domesticated animals they live in the world. They also the most pure bred animal, but what you see here is a hybrid. I'm going to tell you something about the chicken today. 65 billion chickens every day and 60 million tons of eggs. Every scientific magazine today is telling that a society without chicken and eggs doesn't exist. 80% of developing countries are eating chickens. Scientifically, the egg is the biggest protein bomb in the world. Without, we can't live. I tell you something about the origin of the chicken. There is only one chicken in the world, as the red jungle fall that lives at the feet of the Himalaya and spread its genes all over the world by mutation and manipulation. And actually, we didn't breed the chicken only for eating, but we also breed it for aesthetical reasons. And this is a good example. This is the poulet de Brest from France. It's red in the head, it's white in the body, it's blue legs. So it's the French flag. In every country, we were creating a chicken that tells something about the country. So, isn't that a piece of art? I think so. So, I started to think about what we were creating. And actually, we were putting a frame around a living object. So my question was, are we allowed to do that? I think not. I think once in a while we have to break different boundaries. So I started in 1999 with my cosmopolitan chicken crossbreeding project. Actually, it's love between chickens from different countries. And I started in Belgium on the border between Belgium and France, with a typical Belgium chicken to crossbreed with this Poulet de Bresse, this French flag, and the result was a Mechels de Bresse, something completely new. And actually what, was I, what I was doing was breaking the frame and breaking actually the monoculture, because diversity was my interest from in the beginning. So 20 years later today, I have a Mechelse Wyandotte who contains 20 different nationalities inside. If you're doing this, you're not telling anything about the chicken, but you tell everything about us if you bring this on the level of art. It's about globalization, it's about manipulation, it's about cloning, genetic engineering, and so on. I think very important subject to talk about especially today. Thinking about that the chicken is the biggest immigrant in the world, huh? but we all like it, huh? because it gives us these proteins and this meat, you know? Actually, I found myself as the watcher of my own project, because at one point, the chicken gives itself to the project, and on the other side, it's revolting. And if you work with living organisms, this is the case. The question is, where do we come from? So through the chicken, I was starting to think, and every two years I was doing an ex expedition to the Himalaya and saw that the chicken lives on the border between the jungle and civilization. A border animal. Very inter in interesting. Who came to who? Did the chicken come to us or did we come to the chicken? And think about that every little detail we used from this animal. So the question is, what is our position? Mm -hmm. If the chicken come to us, what is our position? What is our position in nature? We are not the middle. We are just a part of nature. And the question is, did we fertilize the planet, the big egg where we live on, or did we kill it? That's why I'm making this kind of installations and artworks, like here in China. 2,000 Chinese were crossing in 1,000 square meters of jungle, looking to the source of life. The installation is modified spaces. From one part, 45 degrees, you go into another installation, where all the eggs of the projects are stamped, just like we are doing in domestication. 
controlling everything. I think we have to find a balance, and we are searching, in my case, I think, in the rebirthing. A big human incubator, and a guy sitting there on the border between the jungle and civilization. Think about these kind of things. What is our position? Because of the cause of my work, breeding a chicken as a piece of art, I started to make the Open University of Diversity, which is actually my studio, but it's more than a studio, it's a think tank. Because I started to make different foundations. Foundations where we were thinking about different subjects in the world. And I want to take you into one foundation, one between art and science. The CCRP, about immunity, the Cosmopolitan Chicken Research Program, a foundation under the leading of Georgia Kassiman, but different universities as Nottingham, Leuven, Hasselt, Ugent. We are looking in a transparent egg, or world. And together with also companies like Hendrik Genetics, the most important company on chicken breeding and genetics, they are helping us. And yes, we were mapping the chickens. And now, we have a chicken with 13 million genetic information. You have to know that a normal chicken from the industry only has 5 million information. What is important? With different professions, we were looking into this genetics and see that the immunity, the diversity, and the fertility went up enormously. So, a chicken that was not infected by the industry was slowly breeding, so it's our collective memory. That's why we started to do a research together with Stalins and Peters from the University of Ghent to the MX. MX is normally responsible for the immunity and is very active in mammals and not in chickens. So, but we started to do the research with the chicken in the museum on the spot where Peters and Silence were really working while people were visiting this show. The research is still going on. My work is actually a think tank, bringing people from different professions together, social entrepreneurs, philosophers, biologists, scientists, artists, and making symposiums and workshop. And one important workshop we did in Havana Biennale. And there was Olivier Hanot, a researcher, for more than 20 years active with chickens, a geneticist, actually. And he's tell, he was telling me, your book of genomes with the 13 million genetic information is so important. And I started to think again, what to do? And then I said, OK, let's make another crossing. Cosmopolitan chicken becomes now planetary community chicken, the CCP and the PCC. So taking the roosters from the Cosmopolitan Chicken Project and started to crossbreed with local commercial chickens. And actually mixing the diversity with the productivity. And I started it very recent in Detroit, a city which is completely destroyed by the monoculture of the car industry, started there to do a huge exp expedition, but also the middle of this expedition were the books of the genome. Crossing on another level, like here, starting with the exhibition on an intellectual level, but also let people read in the book of the genomes. Every nationality was reading their part, the 50 pages, like a mantra over the new chickens, the planetary community chickens. In the New York Times, three weeks ago, they were writing that if you look at this installation, you will never think about art in the same way. Art is changing. Art is mixing different professions together. The planetary community chicken, here in the museum in Arara in Zimbabwe, where the people from the different communities, the orphans, were making this installation together with me. It's about engagement, it's bringing people together. 
bringing people together around a very strong subject. Like here in this museum, this were the orphans and the women who were working in the communities in the middle of the bush. They never saw a museum, but bringing there together around this subject that gives them hope for the future. I'm sure when Mugabe was there, he wouldn't like it, what I was telling. The planetary community chicken is the crossing, as I said, between diversity and productivity. Diversity, 20 years of crossbreeding, and productivity, another line. It's not about one form, but it's about two forms. The biggest secret in life maybe is just duality and bringing things together, like global meets local. But local, build global. It's about trying to find the balance between those two things. And that's a big change if we are starting to do that. So we are making now in the communities, the planetary community chicken in Detroit, Harare, Siberia, different temperatures, different climates. I think that is very important to build up immunity, diversity, and fertility. It's in the communities. It's with the people from the communities. It's on the markets. It's in their gardens where art has to live or in the middle of the city, like here in Sintreude. In Detroit, we have a house in the community where the chicken will live together with the people so that everybody can go there and look at it. It's bringing people together around the table. Food makes combinations and gives energy and thoughts. And actually, that's why I'm moving my studio today to another place, a formal zoo in Zwartberg in Genk. It's called La Biomista, mixed life. It's a huge place, and this is this place. 27 hectares of ground with an old villa. There comes a new studio. And actually, it's an enormous position. In the front, we have the city. On the side, we have the communities. On the other side, we have agriculture. And in the back, we have the industry and a national park. In this project, we will start to let people think how we have to live together in different spaces, modified spaces. The villa will be the open university of diversity, like I do in other exhibitions, and this is the villa. It's a library with all the knowledge that we found by bringing people together. A library with natural knowledge. The studio built by Mario Botta is actually the conflict, the conflict between nature and culture. And the whole place will build up like this, from a greenhouse to an auditorium. In the auditorium, and this is the place and now we are building it, and it will be finished in a couple of days, there will be this red jungle fall, the source of life. And in the big cage, there is the stellar eagle. And actually, when you open this case, and you open the greenhouse, you have immediately the conflict. Who's taking who? And we are in the middle of this. And then you will discover the Cosmopolitan Chicken Project under the studio. The birth of a new generation, or the breeding with the mushrooms. A place where you can see the diversity, where you can appreciate the expositions. The lab, where we're still doing the research, and the auditorium, where we will talk to the people about the things that we made. A cultural park where all the animals live where I'm working with, the llamas, the, camel, the camels, the alpacas, the ostrich, the nandus. It's a park where you have to discover 
Maybe the sculptures, maybe the animals. It's a park where the animals are looking at you. And then slowly we go to the national park. We were putting wolves there. It was their place. And now we will put it again. In the back there is a lake. On the lake we will breed the black storks. It's about art, science and nature. We were working with the city, Torpark, or the Clinic to Seoul, the national park, and we will inspire urban farming. Because urban farming bring it back to the city, bring life in the city, space, physical and mental space, mushrooms in the mines or pigs in the farm. And it's not only to inspire the local, but it's also to inspire the global, like here in Tanzania. We will try to make a biomarket where people can meet each other on different levels to talk, to buy. And we have a dream. Three weeks ago, I was invited by Olivia Hanot in Ethiopia. The biggest project driven by Ilri will bring the chicken to the communities against poverty. The Cosmopolitan Chicken Project and the Planetary Community Chicken Project will be in Africa in different forms to give people in the community their meat and their eggs. The combination of nature and culture brings natural knowledge. That's why we are working together with the WHO in Geneva to think about health because it's about energy, communication and life. And beside that fertility is coming from outside, I think that every organism is looking for another to survive. I thank you.